What is up, Aquarius Pisces? Get ready to be rocked, because today we are in a good mood, so things are about to get crazy, I guess. But let's get into your reading. Today we're talking about love. This could be someone you're already connecting with, someone from the past, someone new. Who knows? Who knows what shows up? But if you feel like this is not your reading, definitely check out your individual signs. Those are going to be on the... probably there. The Sign of Virgo Tarot. And I just did recently some love readings, so definitely go check them out. You may have a little extra messages for you there. So let's get here into your reading and just see what do we have for you so it appears that yeah um okay first of all let's back up we have meditation here this wanted to come out so i guess you kind of need to close to cool down to you know just breathe and slow down probably like i need to because <laughs> it just feels like you need to figure some things out here it feels like you may need to breathe a little bit um before you make some sort of decision there is this feeling here of like there is someone i kind of feel like this could be you or whoever like okay slow down <laughs> we have this walking away here so i guess that this is someone that you're in some sort of separation from someone is definitely being the runner um and i feel like there is another one here that is the chaser and that's why i gotta get this feeling of like cool down slow down before you make some sort of decision because if you are the one that is trying to make this situation happen and unfold, you may be kind of pressuring yourself and pressuring this connection for it to actually happen. But I actually feel like it may not be the best time or it's like something needs to be prepared first. Because it's like over here with the under pressure, it's almost like here. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of looks like a cloth. So it's almost like you had to do something to this thing for you to be able to mix it with something else right so it could be that there is still healing for it to happen um it could be that there is still like for example a third party situation or something like that like something needs to be cleared up for you to actually be able to be together right but this is a very intense connection we also have intimacy so i feel like there is this um i don't know kind of bond between the two very intense bond and i don't think that you're the only one feeling it but i feel like there is one here that is definitely pushing it away and the other one that is definitely like getting ready to spark things up especially with the emperor and the two ones one of you definitely wants to make things happen so if you're the one walking away knowing know that this other person they're definitely into you and they're not letting you go okay but let's see here where do we go um and that leads me to another thing the world's gonna be reversed so just do whatever you want with that okay but we have over here overall energy three of pentacles the world seven of cups and the three of swords yeah with the devil so this could be someone from work it doesn't have to be but i feel like this is someone that um there's this feeling of like you were the unbreakable unstoppable team and then it all just started to crumble down and it didn't really um work anymore it, it's almost like you were great if this is someone from work you were great co-workers the best team that was there in the company and then you turned into enemies, right? It's like you couldn't stand each other, always arguing and never agreeing on anything. Um, there's this feeling of like, things may not be in the best place right now. And I do feel like there is still a lot of wounds and burdens here, okay? If this is, for example, an ex, someone that you really had a commitment with, um, I really feel like before you had a lot of potential, but then something happened here between the two that I'm not entirely sure what it was. For some, it could definitely be a third party because we do have here a lot of threes. We have the seven of cups. It could definitely be it, but it doesn't have to be. But there was something that got in the way and I feel like it wasn't really allowing the relationship to move forward. And so that could have led to some sort of ending or this person walking away or something like that. Um, and I kind of feel like right now, there is still with the seven of cups and the three of swords, there is still a lot of drama, I would say that is the right word there's still a lot of again the devil a lot of karmic cycles still getting in the way possibly a lot of hurt a lot of wounds and i feel like you kind of need to figure that out first you know when i say it's you it's like it's you and them like you has a couple you kind of or you has both of your both of you individuals kind of need to figure that out before this can even lead to something else okay we'll try to get a little bit more information around potential outcome here to see if this um could lead to something else if this could lead to a reconciliation or a rekindling or something like that but right now it doesn't feel like it's the right timing oh gosh have the chariot so i guess uh answering that question it could yeah chariot and ten of pentacles it could very well lead to something else 
have a lot of pentacle energy here so it could even be that you know if this is career wise um it could be that you could work really well together again maybe not romantically but work wise i don't know we'll get a little bit more information around it but i do feel like there is still some potential for it to work in some way all right but for you queen of wands the hanged man and the sun for this person four of swords the page of swords and the magician okay um by the way in terms of zodiac signs we have here it could be another aquarius we have strong virgo coming through we oh we actually have a lot we have strong leo coming through as well we have gemini pisces did i mention scorpio we also have scorpio okay so far that's it but let's get here um i kind of feel like in your current energy we have the queen of wands i feel like you're feeling pretty good you know i feel like you're feeling pretty confident in yourself and maybe you're feeling pretty confident in this connection because like intentions and next actions we have the sun so there is this feeling of like you wanting to create a new beginning you wanting to move forward into this connection and make it happen again maybe you're the one especially with all of this fiery energy it's definitely like chaser vibes you know it's taking action making sure that you're putting yourself out there so i kind of feel like you could be the one that is trying to pursue something here i feel like you're trying to figure out what is the best approach with this hanged man um you know what do you want out of this situation is there any anything that i still need to heal and i feel like you're getting a good perspective especially with this um death and the hermit i feel like you're understanding what do you truly want and i feel like you're trying to clear up any old habits or any thoughts that weren't allowing you to be available for this connection or to make it a good thing you know for your person though there is definitely a resistance here i feel like they are very much focused on themselves four of swords page of swords they are definitely still keeping an eye on you i feel like they still think a lot about you <clears throat> and with my throat acting out i definitely feel like they, they they want to tell you something um or they want to ask you something i just heard that um but i definitely feel like they're very much focused on themselves i don't even feel like they're allowing themselves to feel too much because this person is attached to the two swords right um there could still be a little bit of confusion about how they actually feel about this connection because i'm not seeing a lot of emotions here i just see thoughts right um and even with a girl being with her eyes closed like i don't want to think about this connection i don't want to you know i don't want to do anything with this i feel like they're just not in the position for it and i do want to clarify this magician here in their attentions and next actions because I really feel like their intention right now is to walk away. Gosh, I'm so sorry, Aquarius Pisces. But it really let me let me take a look into that potential outcome. But I really feel like this person is not in it at this moment. What is the potential outcome here between these two? Strength. Here we go with the chariot and lovers empress i do feel like this has potential especially with three freaking or four if you want to call it five six major arcanas maybe even more there is a lot of support from your guides and there is a lot about divine timing here i do feel like this connection could evolve to something else could evolve to something bigger and could have some sort of purpose in your lives but it may n just not be the right timing now okay I feel like this um, summer, we actually have here Gemini, Cancer, Leo, which are like seasons that are coming up. I feel like those could be, we're actually just finishing up uh, Gemini season and we're getting into Cancer, but I feel like those could be significant seasons for you for something to change here, okay? Can you tell us something about timing? Because I do feel like um, it could be a little bit further. Well, six of cups, something could happening until the end of June. Yeah, we have here um, two weeks. But I would even say, yeah, I feel I really feel like there is something here that needs to change physically. Or I feel like it needs to change everywhere. But I feel like you need to start some somewhere else. If your intention is to have this person back in a romantic way, I don't think that that is going to work if you do work together or if there is like maybe for some of you you actually have children for example that could be a good way for you to start don't 
I, I, I really don't feel like starting with I want you back or trying to get this person back romantically, I don't think that is going to make it happen. So I really feel like this relationship needs time to grow and I feel like you need time to get to know each other again for it to be actually able to show up in a different way, okay? Right now, I just don't see it happening romantically, but I feel like you have other ways for you to get to this person and for you to be able to communicate and be with them in some way, okay? Let's put some messages here from this person. I'm gonna pull some advice. So yeah, yeah, we have here um, one day. So I don't think that it's for right now. Doesn't mean that it's never gonna happen, but we do have my heart beats faster for you. You are enough. You are the one. We also have, I'm sorry for leaving, I regret it. Let's tango. We also have over here, you melt me and my heart is yours. But I don't think it's a thing. They're not feeling anything. So I don't think that they're ready for any type of reconciliation here. But I do feel like they're, they still feel, that's why they keep tabs on you and they want to ask you something or they want to communicate something with you. It's because I feel like they still feel some sort of connection with you. This could be quite of a um, strong spiritual connection. Maybe even twin flames if you resonate with that. But I do feel like you have possibly some sort of past life stuff going on. And I feel like I feel like it's getting a little bit heavy. You know, I feel like all of those wounds and, and cycles and things that need to be released. I feel like it's getting a little bit too much. And it's not allowing this connection to fully uh, develop and evolve okay so i feel like this needs a little bit of time and maybe a different approach all right what is the advice here <laughs> like yeah so we do have finances and career maybe and there we go again maybe for some of you this is someone from career or you could have some sort of project that you need their assistance let's say i don't know you work you're starting to breathe you are trying to start a company and this person works in marketing maybe you kind of want to work together and that would be a good way for it to start there could be something around that but we also have worth waiting for so again i don't think that this is the timing right now but i don't think that it will never happen right i just feel like it, it's not the time now uh and so in the meantime maybe try and focus on your finances and career um for things to be able to get in the right place okay because this release your ex also wanted to come out so i feel like there is a need for you to kind of you know, clear the energy, clear the room, and kind of redo the connection, you know, get to know each other again, start from scratch kind of thing, all right, so Aquarius Pisces, this is what I have for you, again, if you feel like this wasn't really your reading, definitely check out your individual signs, but if you're interested in pick a cards, you can definitely check them out at the Bird's Nest Tarot, or we can get a prior reading, link is going to be down below for you, and that's it, so that being said, I love you very much, I wish you the best, and I'll see you in the next one.